Oh, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with uh, another Pokemon, I forgot what game we're playing, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and the, the music kind of threw me off, but Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're going to be using Monotype Flying, uh, so I'll show you the team real quick, but um, Aerodactyl, Dragonite, Gyarados, Zapdos, Moltres, and Pidgeot, uh, probably going to decide if I want to Mega Evolve Gyarados or Pidgeot, I think Gyarados is actually going to be Mega Evolved more so than Pidgeot, uh, just because Gyarados actually has... It loses its weakness to rock, which is something we kind of just lose straight up to. Uh, but this should be fun. I want to see if I can get any type of wins with this team. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. Obviously, leave your suggestions down below. You can check out the playlist for other Wi-Fi battles. And uh, yeah, we'll look for a battle. So we'll be right back, guys. By the way, uh, these next few videos might be just be a little bit shorter. Um, I mean, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But uh, just due to time constraints and... I'm really busy this week, but I kind of just want to run through all the different mono types. I've done mono normally before. I believe I've done mono bug and I've done mono ice. I don't know if I did mono water, but now we're obviously doing mono flying. Now in this game, uh, I value rocks a lot. I do. Yo, Aerodactyl is really good in this game, man. Just naturally. It doesn't, doesn't, it helps me not lose to, uh, to Raichu. I'm going to lead off with it. I'm not going to mega evolve it though. Eh, yeah, I'm not going to mega evolve it. Mega Pidgeot might not be bad in this either. Hold up. Why did I bring Moltres? Actually, it helps me not lose the Venusaur, and it really helps out Gyarados. Gyarados is actually very threatening for my opponent, too, to deal with. Obviously, Outrage is also kind of scary for me to deal with, though. Hmm. I think he'd lead off with... I don't know. I want Roxas for Charizard, obviously. Charizard is something he could lead off with. Leads off with Kingler. Oh, because he just wants to sweep me immediately. I don't really have much of, of a response. Like, I, I have my Zapdos, obviously. But I still want Rocks up for Charizard and Dragonite, especially because without immediate responses to them, it's kind of tough. So I don't mind him crab burying me, just because I'm able to get up the Rocks here. Uh, and I think I'm going to be beating the Raichu with my Dragonite anyway. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for this game plan. See how that works. Sorry, I'm like stumbling on words right now. So it goes right for the agility because he wants to try and mess me up immediately. A little bit confused is that. Does that mean that he's actually going to commit... Just staying in with Kingler after he knocks out my Aerodactyl, which he will. Um, because I'm bringing out Zapdos next anyway to Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt's a guarantee KO. So that's fair. Uh, knocks me out. I get in my rocks though, so Charge is going to come in at half. They're going to be really nice. Um, especially for uh, Agility Dragonite in the back. Bring out Zapdos now. We can tank every hit. I do have the Drill Peck for Venusaur, thankfully. He could obviously go Alolan Raichu too, but I don't think Alolan Raichu takes Thunderbolt into uh, into U-turn with Rocks up. I could be wrong though. He might just commit to going for Agility, Protect, Crab Hammer. What's your other set? So what is your last move then? Are you running X Scissor or Rock Slide? I mean, I'm surprised you protected. There was no way I would U-turn in front of a threat that beats my entire team. Real talk. I want to be careful about my Zapdos too. But like I said guys, this might be a shorter video. The, the next few Let's Go uploads might be a little bit shorter just because time constraints. But I do want to do a series on all the... Uh, what's it called? On every single typing. If possible. I don't think it's possible with all of them. Like Ghost for instance. Definitely not possible. I, have to, I, I mean I can use multiple Gengars. I don't care. I have multiple Gengars. I don't mind using them. Uh, so maybe Venusaur coming out. I think Dragonite would be a misplay just because Thunderbolt plus Rocks is, is tough. Yeah, it brings out Venusaur. So, this is interesting because, like, I do have obviously the Drill Pack, but my main thing is my Zapdos is, like, one of the only things that really stops Kingler. Uh, so if I Drill Pack here, it's gonna 2-A KO, it's not gonna Oko. Um, if I Drill Pack here and he puts me to sleep with Sleep Powder, then I lose basically a my Kingler response. Uh, otherwise, I have to depend on Dragonite not getting flinched by Rock Slide or Gyarados. Dragon telling it out. So what I think I'm going to do is U-turn out into my uh, shiny Pidgeot. Shout out to my subscriber. Was it Peyton? I believe his name was Peyton, who actually uh, got it for me. So I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that very much. And I have Will-O-Wisp on Moltres, so I want to save that for maybe the opposing Dragonite too. Like, opposing Dragonite setting up is also scary, but as long as my Mega Gyarados is at full, it can just Mega Evolve and go for Dragon Tail, living a hit. Nice Shiny. As he goes right for Sludge Bomb, so that's not too bad, because I get off an Air Slash now. 
And he doesn't have a... Like, he does have a fly resist. Should I Heat Wave instead? Because it does more. Not to, not to this, but to, to Raichu. Yeah, I'll Air Slash. Um, I was debating U-Turning, but you can't... I, I, I'm scared to just mess around with these. And he ends up going out to Kingler. Uh, but because I am special, I will be able to 2-A-K-O Kingler, so that's alright. Big Pidgeot putting in a little bit of work. Did some decent damage. Pidgeot doesn't have the best special attack before Mega Evolving. But happy that I was able to 2-A-K-O the Kingler. Nice. Alright, awesome. And the great thing is as well, I believe the Venusaur is in range of the Drill Peck after the Hazard, so... Really good. Pidgeot doing its job. Got rid of a giant threat. That was also something I couldn't KO with Outrage from, outrage from full. My headphones, my headset keeps like slipping. My bad. That was something I could not KO from full. Alright, so big threat number 17 comes out. Gonna U-turn and hope he's a bad nature. And by that I mean not a plus speed nature. I could Mega Evolve in U-turn, but again, I want to keep Gyarados healthy. Uh, the thing is to... Ooh, he's not a plus speed nature. That's amazing. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yo, Pidgeot doing more work than when it was Mega Pidgeot in the in the show. I have to put Pidgeot in the thumbnail. Uh, I believe my Zapdos might still be able to outspeed you. I'm not sure on the uh, the difference at level 50 is. But yeah, always run timid on Raichus, guys. Always run timid on Raichus. And I can just U-turn again. And that'll knock out Raichu. Uh, especially because... All these protects. Do you play doubles? I should try a double. Let me know by the way down below. This is, this is something I want to know. Like I said, short video. But um, I want to know down below. Do you guys want to see me play uh, doubles? Uh, I saw a few people asking, but I wasn't sure. Like, if it gets enough response, let me know. I I'll try playing it. I can also try Candy Meta, but I'm not a big fan of Candy Meta on Wi-Fi. You only have 20 minutes, and everything is so bulky, they don't go down. They don't. Oh, it doesn't matter if he goes Dragonite or anything. Goes out to Venusaur. So he's basically giving me another KO with my Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. Well, yeah. You guys think I'm going to miss this thing like I missed the Hyper Beam <laughs> that one time? Uh, actually, I like Moltres a little bit more because uh, if he brings out the, if he brings out, first off, it has 100% accurate flamethrower, and secondly, if he brings out the Dragonite after, I can Willow Wisp it. So yeah, we're gonna flamethrower here, knock you out. I gotta be careful about Zardex though. He's smart to not like Mega Evolve. Uh, Venusaur, I feel like Zard is gonna be really threatening. If he does go Dragonite though, I will be able to go for the uh, the Will-O-Wisp, ideally landing and obviously weakening that thing. Also, Zard has to have Outrage in order to knock out Dragonite. That's also pretty... My own Dragonite, so that's also pretty important. I like how a lot of the Pokemon I'm using, by the way, they're not necessarily seen for their flying typing, right? Moltres and Zapdos, they're seen as electric and fire types, right? Uh, Gyarados is seen as just a water type and what should have been a dragon type too, in my opinion. Um, Aerodactyl, a, a rock type, like... Pidgeot obviously seen for what it is, but um, a flying type. Like Pidgeot, I think is the only flying type I have on my team that's really seen as a flying type. Besides, yeah, that's it. And Dragonite's a dragon, yeah. So I really like that about flying. Where do you turn here? Uh, if he's not a plus speed nature, he may not outspeed me. And they don't always have to be plus speed natures, but I'm assuming he's gonna become Zard X here. Yeah, Zardex is a little bit better versus my team. Alright, nice. He's not plus B nature. So what I can do is U-turn out to Zapdos. Uh, he might Roost. And what I can do is Toxic the uh, Charizard. I don't want to go uh, out to my Gyarados. Because my Gyarados is going to be really important in making sure I don't lose to his... Um, I don't have Toxic on this thing. What am I saying? I'm, I'm Drill Peck him. But my Gyarados is going to be really important in making sure I don't lose to the... Uh, oh my gosh, he's mixed with Rock Slide. Oh, Nice. It's going to be very important to make sure I don't lose to that Dragonite. And I'll probably set up an agility in front of the Raichu actually if it ever comes out. Basically anything that doesn't offensively threaten me, I'll do it for it. This is 2 KO. Just barely. Goes for another Rock Slide. Alright, I'm going to be able to go out into my uh, 
my Pidgeot and actually get another KO. Wow, regular Pidgeot putting in some real... Okay, Pidgeot definitely gonna get this thumbnail. Regular Pidgeot putting in some work. That's what I like to see. Big ol' regular Pidgeot. Shiny too. It's, that's it. That's, that's the tech. I guess it gotta be shiny to do some work. Uh, so you go down to... Because their Raichu isn't the right nature, I'm debating actually Mega Evolving this, but I feel like once I Mega Evolve, I'm not gonna get something out of it, so I'm just gonna use regular. Like, I feel like once I Mega Evolve, I'm gonna start missing, like, in the Mega Pidgeot video. Hey, I'm happy that I'm actually able to use regular Pidgeot, though. Alright, this was, like, a pick that I decided over Dodrio, just because, uh, Payton, Payton basically took the, you know, the time out of his day to train this thing up for me. Hey, Raichu don't even matter. Raichu does not even matter. We already know, bro. I'm faster. Are you just trying to bait the U-turn? You still have Eradicate. Alright, this is amazing because I can literally U-turn out into Moltres and burn something with Flame... Uh, not a Flamethrower. I mean, Flamethrower could burn. But I can literally U-turn out to Moltres, burn uh, the Dragonite with Will-O-Wisp, and I can uh, burn the Eradicate as well. The Eradicate is a little bit scarier to burn because they can pack Facade. But yeah, we bring out Moltres here. And all we gotta do is connect our Will-O-Wisp and we will be good. I shouldn't lose to the Dragonite. Yeah, the fact that my opponent didn't have a uh, plus speed nature on Raichu was big. That was big, because that thing honestly would have just threatened my entire team, I feel. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, just Flamethrower twice. Ideally, it's a 2 Akio because Moltres is pretty powerful. And Alolan Raticate doesn't have access to Thick Fat in this game, so it doesn't resist. Beautiful to a KO. Ooh, I wanted to use support Raticate too. I've actually seen a few people use it because Super Fang is actually really good. But doesn't matter here. Now all we gotta do is land a Willow Wisp on the Dragonite, and we should be able to beat it. Super Fang into Sucker Punch should not knock me out. Yep. Lolan Raticate is pretty weak as well. One of its other abilities in the other generations are um uh, is also uh, Hustle, which boosts attack, so it actually makes it a formidable physical threat. But in this, not really. All right, Moltres, all you have to do is land this will o -Wisp. All you gotta do is land this will o -Wisp and be good. So land it for me, buddy. Thanks. Land it right now. Hey, Unfortunately, I don't have Air Slash on this one, because this was, I think, one of my Draft League Moltres, but it's fine. Uh, get the will o -Wisp off. He might not even be Agility Dragonite. Yeah, it might be like a, a mixed type of set. Was Thunder Punch, like, made to beat me down? <laughs> It's like they knew I was bringing flying. I was just flamethrower for a bit of damage. Like, Dragonite is so good. I, I, uh, my opponent is going to forfeit. Hey, all right. I'll take that win. Um, but as I mentioned, guys, the next few videos are going to be super short. Maybe just one battle each. Uh, but I'll be showing off some monotypes as well. So let me know which monotype you guys want to see tomorrow. And uh, then, obviously, we'll go back to, like, showing off Eevee. I still have a little Persian. I still have regular Venusaur, Polyrath, and Snor or Snorlax, even though they've been in a ton of games. Like, I still have a few Pokemon that I have to show off. And, of course, I want to show off Pokemon like Dragonair, uh, Pokemon like Kadabra and Haunter, which are not, obviously, fully evolved, but still might have some merit. But, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.